Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It's April 28, 2018, and uh, you can check me out, climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Tonight we're going to talk about the difference between what the media is telling you and what the truth is. Because they always want to control the narrative. They want to talk about, you know, FISA abuses and never really mention the truth about what's really going on. So today we're going to talk about the New World Order, how it works, and how FISA abuses are really NSA Stone Ghost Network abuses and how the five eyes are related to all of this. This is something you're not going to hear anywhere else. Um, I've yet to see it on any website. And I've been talking about Ozcan Zuckus and before Snowden ever dropped his first word. So I hope that you guys will support me over on Patreon, patreon.com slash climate viewer. All of my work is advertisement free, free of charge. And I do my research. You're about to find out. Um, that this is some pretty serious stuff and I'm going to tie a very, very large picture together, hopefully pretty quickly. Um, let's dive right in. So this is my page. Uh, it's over at climateviewer.com slash privacy and you can just click on the top menu. It'll be in under privacy right here. If you're on the desktop, it's going to look like this be right here privacy just click on that bad boy links in the details above um yeah michael lurie thank you for bringing that up it's a video i made um back in i think april 2017 um michael shared this video on uh my wall today april 3rd 2017 five eyes of the deep state stone ghost exposed um, we're going to go through all of this and really bring it up to speed, bring it up to the Obama Clinton Foundation abuses of the NSA network, not the FISA abuses that they want to focus on. We're talking Snowden, we're talking Ozcan Zuckus, we're talking Echelon, we're talking about buying access to the world's most extensive signals intelligence network and how dangerous that is how people abuse the privacy of um, citizens worldwide, activists censor them, attack them, and how they use the surveillance state, the deep state, to hurt people. So over here on climateviewer.com slash privacy, the article is titled New World Order Technocrats and the Surveillance State. Um, I should probably change that to deep state just because it's the term of the day. But regardless, um, what's going on here? So these are the five eyes. If you've not heard of the five eyes, um, this is something that started back in World War II. And in Ozcan Zucka specifically is a naval agreement, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, UK, US. These are the five eyes, also known as the Anglosphere, or as I like to call them, the New World Order. Now, a lot of people talk about the New World Order, and they just generically throw that term around. Um, but, you know, that's not being very realistic. So let's get down to what the details are and why it matters and who all these shady cats are that are abusing the Stone Ghost Network coffee break briefly so back in uh the world war ii there was this thing called the british uk agreement and basically the united states said hey we'll come save your ass from um, the germans but in order to do that britain you're gonna have to give us all of your signals intelligence and by signals intelligence we mean spy data so a data sharing agreement between the U.S. and U.K. was signed, the BRUK agreement. From that grew um, the Five Eyes, which was called Auscan Zuckus, where Australia, Canada, and New Zealand joined in on the fun. Um, there's also a larger group called the Nine Eyes and the Fourteen Eyes, also known as SIGINT Seniors Europe or SSEUR. Um, together, these form the New World Order. 
Um, and as you can see, the five eyes I've already mentioned, the nine eyes include Denmark, France, the Netherlands, and Norway. And in the 14 eyes, you have Germany, Belgium, Italy, Spain, and Sweden. All of these countries together share intelligence, meaning they spy on citizens, they, you know, every phone call, every email, everything you post on social media, everything. All digital things, all analog things. If you're talking, if you're doing it, they're recording it, um, and they use that as a weapon. Not just for the protection of United States citizens, it is actually used as a weapon. So when you have a weapon this de deadly, um, because intelligence is power and information is, you know, leverage and leverage buys you whatever you like, um, why wouldn't you want access to the world's most extensive spy network? That spy network is called Stone Ghost. It's probably been renamed since then, um, since all of this has been put out, but at the time that's what it this is the most recent um you know revelation for what it's called so how does this work well there's a spy versus spy revolving door where basically british um intelligence spies on americans americans spies on brits so if america wants dirt on american citizens um they just basically call the brits and they say hey you do the spying for us and likewise, the Brits say, hey, NSA, can you spy on our British citizens? And all of that is shared together, boom, through the Stone Ghost Network. So why am I calling this the Stone Ghost Network and why does this matter? What does this have to do with FISA abuses and Russian influence? Well, Russia has already had access to the Stone Ghost Network. Uh, this is Canadian Navy spy sold NSA secrets to Russia for $3,000 a month. So this is not the first time um, what the Clinton Foundation and the Obama um, administration and the DOJ and apparently the FBI and the whole damn deep state got in on the fun. They basically got permission through a FISA court using false information to get access to the NSA Stone Ghost Network. Why am I calling it that? Because uh, that's basically what they say right here. Um, this uh, gentleman uh, who was busted, Canadian Forces Sub-Lieutenant Jeffrey Paul DeLise, walked into the Russian embassy in Ottawa in 2007 and offered to sell secrets to that country's military intelligence agency, beginning an espionage career that lasted almost four years, according to court details. Now, this guy, DeLise, 41, uh, pled guilty um, to doing this and he's you know basically said quote it's a computer system that links the five eyes the five eyes are the United States Britain Australia New Zealand and Canada all their information is shared on the stone ghost computer and by computer he means network he would go to work every time with a thumb drive and download reams of information which he would send to the Russians on almost a monthly basis. This went on for years and years and he was paid between $2,800 and $3,000 a month for the information. Surprise. Now, this was in 2007. So Obama came into office 2008, and of course, by then, this was public knowledge. Of course, Obama knew about it. And, you know, the Democrat Party just couldn't help themselves, and they said, you know, man, we'd really like access to this, too. So this is, this is not the first time the Russians have gained access to our military intelligence complex, you know, moles are moles are moles, you know, everybody has heard of a mole. Well, when you've got a mole on the inside that can access a network this dangerous, it's very scary. Glenn Greenwald took it a step further and showed that basically the NSA routinely shares raw intelligence data with Israel. And you can see that file right here, Israel Memoranda of Understanding on SIGINT, where basically they say raw signals intelligence will be sent. Minimization really doesn't happen. So at the top of this 14 eyes, which of course 
you don't see Israel in this list. Why? Because they're at the top of the pyramid. And in the next ream of the pyramid is the five eyes. Underneath that in the pyramid is the nine and finally the 14. So this is your, you know, triangle of doom with Israel at the top, then the five, then the nine, then the 14. That's your new world order, people. Plain and simple. The new world order is all of these guys, you know, getting together to share all the secrets of the world to, you know, basically get their way. Um, so that's that's kind of scary in and out of, of itself. Um, U.S. corporations access to Stone Ghost. Now, before Snowden, um, basically Europe fears U.S. corporations benefit from Echelon. So this Echelon was basically what we were calling the Stone Ghost Network. Alleged examples of espionage conducted by members of the Five Eyes include on behalf of the British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, the Canadian Security Intelligence Service of Canada spied on two British cabinet ministers in 1983. The USNSA spied and intercepted phone calls of Princess Diana right up until she died in Paris car crash and with Dodi Fayed in 1997 the NSA currently holds 1056 pages of classified information about Princess Diana which has been classified as top secret quote because their disclosure could reasonably be expected to cause exceptionally grave damage to national security the damage would be caused not by the information about Diana, but because the documents would disclose sources and methods of U.S. intelligence gathering, like the Stone Ghost Network. An official insisted the references to Diana and inter 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 intercepted conversations were incidental. Are we not hearing every darn day um, that you know FISA oh, just incidentally picked up Trump cabinet officials? It was incidental collection. My ass. UK agents monitored the conversations of 7th Secretary General of the United Nations Kofi Annan. US agents gathered detailed biometric information on the 8th Secretary General of the United Nations Ban Ki-moon. In the early 1990s, the US NSA agency intercepted communications between Europe aerospace company Airbus and Saudi Arabian National Airline. In 1994, Airbus lost a $6 billion contract with the Saudi Arabia after the NSA, acting as a whistleblower, reported that Airbus officials had been bribing Saudi officials to secure the contract. As a result, the American aerospace company, McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing, won the multi-billion dollar contract instead of Airbus. So the NSA used its Five Eyes spy tools to screw Airbus and prop up an American company. Big surprise. American defense contractor Raytheon won a $1.3 billion contract from the government of Brazil to monitor the Amazon rainforest after the U.S. CIA, acting as a whistleblower, reported that Raytheon's French competitor, Thompson Alcatel, had been paying bribes to get the contract. Once again, oh my goodness, we're spying and we're benefiting U.S. corporations. In order to boost America's position in trade negotiations with the then-Japanese trade minister, Ryoturo Hashimoto, in 1995, the CIA eavesdropped on conversations between Japanese bureaucrats and executives of car manufacturers Toyota and Nissan. So this is normal business. This is just business as usual. The five eyes, these guys, with their 14 eyes buddies, they, they use this NSA spy network, the Stone Ghost Network, to target companies, countries, you name it. Information is power. So with this much information being stored, you have to ask, who wouldn't want access to that? I mean, can you blame Obama and Hillary and the Clinton Foundation for wanting full access to all of this? You can't. Um, but it gets worse. So during the WikiLeaks disclosures, 
U.S. defense contractors hired to use cyber warfare and social media sock puppets to sway public opinion against WikiLeaks, discredit journalists, activists. H.P. Gary Federal, a U.S. Defense Department cybersecurity firm, was hacked, allegedly by a 16-year-old girl from Anonymous. Woohoo! And its emails were uploaded to torrents and websites. Those HB Gary emails are still available on WikiLeaks. They are the only thing on WikiLeaks that does not actually have a search engine to it. That's how deadly those emails are. I have read every single one of them. In those emails, the public learned that prominent law firms hired Barrico Technologies, Palantir Technologies, and HB Gary Federal to create fake Facebook Twitter, and YouTube accounts to post online as if they were real people to influence your opinion. References 10, 11, 12, and 13. There are references right here. You can see all of the links right there. Boom, 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 boom. Um, just go to the bottom of the page. Climbviewer.com slash privacy. Um, one person can run more than 50 different accounts all with complete online life histories and at, that odd, at, add authenticity, their purpose, discredit all associated with WikiLeaks through coercion, and convince the public that WikiLeaks, Glenn Greenwald, and Julian Assange are terrorists. Glenn Greenwald is an American journalist. The United States military defense contractors, on behalf of the NSA were attacking American journalists to discredit them. So if they, th if you don't think sock puppets are out there working their ass off to discredit me and censor me and people like you, you're crazy. And I can prove that in the next slide. So during those WikiLeaks um, disclosures, this is the scariest thing I've ever read. Basically, f there was a cable that came from the Paris um, consulate that said that they were about to pass a law in Paris that said if Monsanto 810 GMO seed their corn, if their seed blows in your field that you could sue them as opposed to the other way around, which would mean a whole lot of trouble for Monsanto. So what do you ha what happens here? The the State Department is basically asking the NSA network to spy on activists in Paris for Monsanto. The NSA freaking works for Monsanto. Let me get this straight. So Russia bought access to the Stone Ghost Network for $3,000 a month for four years. Um, Raytheon got a billion dollar contract. McDonnell Douglas got several billion dollar contract. All of this you know, everybody's abusing the NSA network. That's what Snowden was talking about. This FISA abuse stuff is skirting the real issue. The proof is in the pudding. This is straight from the WikiLeaks cable. The cable is referenced at the bottom of the page. It is reference number 15. Um, further, we should not be prepared to seed on cultivation because our considerable planting seed business in Europe and because farmers, once they've had experience with biotech, become its staunchest supporters. We should not be prepared to seed on cultivation because of our considerable planting seed business. Our? You're from the State Department. Well, you don't, do you work for Monsanto? What is our crap? This is the worst line I ever read in any WikiLeaks right here. Country Team Paris recommends that we calibrate a target retaliation list that causes some pain across the EU, since this is a collective responsibility, but also focuses in part on the worst culprits. Culprits like me and you, activists that speak up online, who have the gonads to actually tell the truth. They want to cause a target retaliation list that causes pain, like they did to Glenn Greenwald. They want to hurt you and shut you up because they want Monsanto's GMO seed sold in Paris. So just remember that whenever you're going to fight. Yeah, that's my quote, man. I love it in chat. Mike uh, Mike Keating said it straight from George Carlin's mouth. It's a big freaking club and you ain't in it. <laughs> um, 
But that's the truth. The list should be measured rather than vicious and must be sustainable over the long term since we should not expect an early victory. How's that working out for you, Five Eyes? Because I see a whole lot of GMO activists who have not shut up yet. And you can't shut us up all, all of us up because you cannot kill an idea. We do not forget and we certainly do not forgive in this instance. Um, and then, uh, you know, the, if you want to go a little deeper, I'm going to get into the surveillance map real quick. But I literally break down a timeline of the New World Order. It starts in 1921 for me with the Council of Foreign Relations. Um, you know, goes on to Franklin D. Roosevelt, the Four Freedoms of the United Nations, how that got hijacked, the New World, post, new, post war. New World Map, which was the New World Order, or the Gomberg Map, and how that New World Moral Order became just the New World Order, because morals are clearly not involved anymore in this. The part I want you to take away from this timeline is this. The United World Federalists, or UWF, was formed by two Council of Foreign Relations stalwarts, Norman Cousins and James P. Wahlberg. One of the most famous slogans of this Rockefeller front was One World or None. The UWF president wanted to see the see established once having joined the One World Federated Government. No nation could secede or revolt because the atom bomb in its possession, the federal government of the world, would blow that nation off the face of the earth. That's your new world order. Council of Foreign Relations guys and their one world government. You will not, for example, find a UWF member today stating the, goal, the group's goals quite as crudely as UWF professor Milton Mayer did in 1949 when he said we must haul down the American flag, haul it down, stamp on it, spit on it. The organization was founded in Asheville, North Carolina and as a result of the merger of five existing world government groups, the American United World Government, World Federalists USA, Student Federalists, Georgia, Georgia World Citizens Committee and the Massachusetts Committee for World Federation. The United World Feder Federalists is a nonpartisan nonprofit organization with members in 48 states. It has 350 chapters in 39 states and one chapter in Hawaii. State branches exist in 27 states. The primary purpose of the organization is, is this. This is February 23rd, 1947. Very similar time to when the British-UK agreement was signed. And this is their goals. To achieve permanent peace through universal disarmament enforced by law. That's your new world order. Gun grab. We must take all of the weapons from the people so that they can no longer defend themselves this United Nations, this United World Federal, Federal um, Federation, this one world government, this new world order will protect you. You have no guns to release from satisfaction of human needs. The resources at present must be used to, in continuous preparation for war. Sounds great on the surface. Hey, we'll just take all your guns and there shouldn't be any war because you know what? Granddaddy New World Order will provide everything for you. Sounds like every leftist dream. To maintain and promote human freedom, to mobilize support for free institutions among all people, and to secure all people the rights to develop according to their customs and traditions. This is very similar to the four freedoms that the United Nations was originally supposedly founded on. Freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. Unfortunately, we'll probably never see freedom from fear based on just the activist community that I have to deal with on a daily basis pushing fear porn, but that's beside the point. So this timeline goes on at length. You can look through it. Um, we shall have one, one world government, whether you like it or not, by conquest or consent. 
said by international financier and CFR member James Warburg, speaking at the Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee 1950. And we've all heard of the Bilderberg Group, the Treaty of Paris, um, Ozcan Zuckus and the military comes in here, and, you know, um, it just gets worse and worse. Henry Kissinger, top of the list of problem people, said, Today, Americans would be outraged if U.N. troops entered Los Angeles to restore order. Tomorrow, they would be grateful. This is especially true if they were told that an outside threat from beyond, whether real or promulgated, that threatened our very existence. It is then that people of the world will plead their world leaders to deliver us from this evil. The one thing every man fears is the unknown. When presented with this scenario, individual rights will be willingly relinquished for the guarantee of the well-being granted to them by their world government. Henry Kissinger went on to say the New World Order cannot happen without U.S. participation as we are the most significant single component. Yes, there will be a New World Order and it will force the United States to change its perceptions. Let's just not even get into 9-11 and how all of that came true. Let's not talk about you know how Obama um, said that he intended to fundamentally change America, but Henry Kissinger has been spotted at the you know left or right arm of every single president, and every single president talks about the New World Order. So what is this Stone Ghost Network? Well, if you come to climateviewer.org, map link in the details. Um, you can actually see the Stone Ghost Network because guess what? I mapped it out. And you can fly yourself around and see all of these facilities from around the world. Um, you know, like the GCHQ, the guy who wrote the dossier, you know, worked for Britain. And that's basically the revolving door. So, United States, uh, NSA, FISA Accords, Obama, the Hillary Clinton Foundation, the DOJ, they basically took, you know, some British spy's word and used that to get a FISA, uh, you know, approval. And basically what the FISA court approves is access to the NSA Stone Ghost Network, access to the five eyes, the nine eyes, the 14 eyes data intelligence collections. Um, why is that important? Because basically everything that's ever been said is right over here in Salt Lake City um, at the Utah Data Center. And you can zoom yourself up down here to the ground, check it out yourself. But that's the building right there. That's where Hillary Clinton's deleted emails are. That's where everything you ever wrote on the internet is stored. Um, this building has so many supercomputers in it that it uses so much water to cool it down that the local municipalities literally threaten to shut the water off to the building in protest. It's that bad. Um, but the Utah Data Center is also known as the Comprehensive National Cybersecurity Initiative or codenamed Bumble Hive. Um, but this is basically where all of the, the five eyes, the nine eyes, it all ends up right here, the Utah Data Center, right here on the map at climateviewer.org. Now, the five eyes have facilities all around the world, and they like to monitor undersea cables, so basically anything floating under the ocean, it ends up hitting up one of these NSA facilities or Five Eyes members facilities. As you can see here, here's over in Guam. Um, and that's an NC TAMS. It's a naval communication, naval computer and telecommunication station. So U.S. Navy. Up here we have the Misawa Security Operations Centers. Um, lots of photos, lots of links. This, this map alone took me three months to make. It was not easy to find all of this. Things like the aerospace data facility in Colorado. There's also the aerospace data facility in the East Coast over here. National Reconnaissance Operations Center. Oh, nice creepy photos that go with that. We've all seen this one. Nothing is beyond our reach. And it's the truth. Because that's exactly uh, you know, what, the, what, the, what the New World Order is all about. It's about intelligence. And how they can, you know, gather up everything and use it to, as a weapon. 
So why is this important? Well, before election day, um, here's over on my, uh, let me get up off my thing. This is me on, no, not you either, Dominic. Get out of my video right now. Just watch the damn thing. Election prediction, November 7th, 2016. Trump wins in landslide. New World Order says Russians hacked election. Landslide fake. And I predicted it to the T. Now, this is before all of the, you know, the, the, the votes were counted. I just wanted to go ahead and put it out there. I was like, watch. Whole next year is going to be about Russian hacking. But as we saw on my my privacy page, well, I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened. Hell, the, the Russians were buying access to Stone Ghost. It is documented. The guy's in jail, and they did it for only $3,000 a month. So what do we find out today? That Hillary Clinton and company are doing exactly the same thing. They're, you know, buying Russian influence to get access through a FISA court to spy on the Trump administration to, to spy, use the IRS, use, I mean, just use any kind of opportunity they can to, you know, screw the American public over and make them believe whatever they want them to believe. So that's the point of this. I made a video right shortly after that, April 20, um, 3rd, 2017, Five Eyes of the Deep State, Stone Ghost Exposed, and kind of try to go through this because, you know, people aren't familiar with it. So we're, what are, were the roots of this, the New World Order, this, you know, global surveillance network, this Five Eyes, 14 Eyes? It's called technocracy. And this is Patrick Wood. Um, he's a colleague of mine. Technocracy Rising, the Trojan Horse of Global Transformation. This is one of the best books I've ever read. And he really goes through the references. Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. If you're talking about that, Mike Keating, you're really just on the surface. You really have to get past just these, these climate change agendas. They're really an ends to a mean. And the mean is something called a balanced load. And the balanced load is something that's has its roots in technocracy. And technocracy is about using sensors and the scientific method and a, a group of engineers to control the world through the scientific method. Hey, Mike Keating, you have overburdened uh, your, you, you put out too much carbon today, you've used too much energy, and you are no longer balanced. So through our smart grids and our sustainable development, we have decided for your benefit and the benefit of the global community that we're going to cut your air conditioner off for three hours today till you achieve a balanced load. Be well. That is climate change, technocracy, and the new world order all in one. That's what this is about. It's about control. So how do technocrats control silent weapons for quiet wars? These silent weapons are surveillance technologies, sensors. Scientists rely on sensors to make their determinations. So what sensors do they have? What's the greatest sensor there is? The Stone Ghost Network. It has all the secrets of the world. So everybody and their brother, Monsanto, Raytheon, and apparently the Obama administration and Hillary Clinton Foundation and the DNC got access to Stone Ghost through their fake dossier. So that's what this is all about. Technocracy. And why does that matter? Communitarian law. Communitarian law is the new legal system used by regional and local governments affiliated with emerging, the emerging global government. This new law circumvents national law via a program called balancing or the balanced load or carbon taxes and carbon credits and carbon monetization or the one world monetary unit of energy and that energetic unit was talked about by the technocrats that's what this is all about so technocracy communitarian law and abusing secrets and why do they abuse the secret network so that they can enforce their communitarian law and get their new world order or one world government? 
Why does this matter? Well, here's where it really gets weird. Hacked Colin Powell email. Bohemian Grove attendees will vote against Trump. Some support third party candidate. Ooh, now this is a really interesting one. So basically in this email, it goes like this. Peter, I'm back from the Bohemian Grove. Surprise, surprise. I sat next to Stephen Harper a couple of times and had a nice discussion. Grove attendees know that Trump will, is a disaster. Most will vote against, but quite a few will not vote for Hillary and will vote for a third party candidate. So let's get this straight. The New World Order technocrats at the Bohemian Grove do not like Trump. Apparently, just like George Carlin said, Trump is not part of the club. And that's why you see all this fighting. That's why you see the Russia, you know, fake stories. Because, in fact, the DNC, the Hillary Clinton Foundation, and et al., um, and Obama, they're the ones colluding with Russia. They're the ones abusing the Stone Ghost Network. And even the freaking New World Order guys at the Bohemian Grove say, oh, we're not even crazy about Hillary. That didn't stop them from throwing a billion dollars at her. Keep that in mind. And why, why does that have anything to do with what I normally talk about, geoengineering? Also in the DC leaks, Hillary Clinton supports geoengineering or climate intervention. So geoengineering, climate engineering, climate intervention, these are things that are getting thrown around today. Um, many of you follow my work on geoengineering. This is pretty important to me. And I find it highly you know, offensive that you know, basically Clinton, if she had made it into office, her uh, butt buddy John Podesta co-founded the Energy Future Coalition Steering Committee. Um, let's see if their website still exists. It does. Energy Future Coalition. Basically, they support geoengineering. In March of 2015, they had a meeting before COP21, which is where they had the Paris Accord or the Paris Agreement that Trump pulled out of. And what they said in there is this. Polls show that people hate the idea of controlling the weather, even to stop global warming. Climate change advocates say people won't stop polluting, so climate engineering must be studied. Geoengineering activists advocates started calling for funding immediately following COP21 conference, something that was planned in this meeting that was leaked on DC Leaks. The CIA decided that the public may be more receptive to the term climate intervention rather than geoengineering or even climate engineering because people see engineering as a bad thing. You cannot recall, recall the environment. And by recall, I mean like recall your car. Engineers make things and break things. So that's why they don't want to call it geoengineering or climate engineering anymore. Because engineering, that's technocracy. They're engineers. They follow the scientific method, policies, and procedures. That's what a new world order, one world government seeks to have. That's what technocrats want. So this is perception management, also known as framing, spin, or propaganda. Hillary Clinton's campaign will seek to lobby Congress for geoengineering funding and take executive action either to fund or deploy geoengineering. She will use fear, uncertainty, and doubt to sell her funding legislation. So the spin is this. Before and after, geoengineering, climate engineering, climate intervention, solar radiation management became albedo modification. And there's John Holdren, Obama's appointee, basically trying to sell geoengineering to the public. This is funded by Bill Gates as well, something called Pfizer, the Fund for Innovative uh, Climate en Energy Research. Pfizer is a fund run by Bill Gates that, where he dumps money in for geoengineering studies. This fund is administered by David Keith and Ken Caldera. David Keith and Ken Caldera decide which geoengineering scientists get money from Bill Gates' honeypot. That's how it all works. 
and you can read all about the stuff down here. You can download the Microsoft Doc, the PDF, and read it. Energy Future Coalition Committee meeting notes May 12th, 2015. This was around the same time as the SRM 2015 conferences. So why do I mention this? Who was on that? Tom Daschle from the Daschle Group. Greg Dotson, Center for American Progress. Dan Etsy, Yale University. The Turner Foundation, United Nations Foundation, University of Colorado, another UN person, and the list goes on. So all of these guys are in on geoengineering, are pushing for it. And you can go through here and see things like this. Um, you know, I've got some nice highlights in here. I don't want to go too deep in this. Read the damn article, though. It turns out that our understanding of aerosols is not that great. It's a huge understanding of albedo modification. Just understanding aerosols better would actually help us a lot. Um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna launch a big effort before Paris. Okay, so this is basically John Podesta's super PAC which is a Hillary Clinton, Clinton Foundation thing, saying that we're going to wait till after COP21 is signed before we really push for geoengineering. That is extremely important. It's not just Paris that's driving uh, that we're not getting research in geoengineering. In fact, the U.S. Congress doesn't want to fund research for geoengineering. So that's what this is all about. Um, and please read through this. This is one of the craziest freaking things. But John Podesta um, and company and the CIA climate intervention reports by the National Academy of Sciences post-COP21 lobbying, lobbying. Does the Paris Agreement open the door to geoengineering? Academics call for geoengineering preparation in wake of Paris Agreement's deadly flaws. Can we achieve the Paris climate goals without unproven technology? like geoengineering. And then we get scientists claim contrails are accidental geoengineering right after COP21. So this is where it's really, you know, the rubbers meet in the road. Um, geoengineering is definitely supported on Hillary's side and Podesta, thank God they're not in office, but they would certainly use the entire NSA network and all of that to make that agenda a reality. So what's up next here? I made a video. Does Trump support geoengineering? Well, Hillary sure, certainly does. And we just covered that, but here's where it gets really weird. So this is David Keith, one of the two guys that basically gives Bill Gates money to people to do geoengineering. David Keith is actually doing a geoengineering field test in Arizona this fall, um, and he intends to fly a balloon up and test geoengineering. He funds geoengineers with Bill Gates' money. Yet, he says, why this geoengineering pioneer's worst nightmare is a Trump tweet. Harvard professor David Keith worries that politicians opposed to emissions cuts will recklessly promote altering the atmosphere instead. November 2017. So let me get this straight. You're doing a geoengineering test in Arizona. You've been promoting geoengineering for years on end, talking about spraying atmosphere, you know, spraying the sky with aluminum, with calcium, with sulfur. But you're scared that Trump's going to say, let's do geoengineering, GTFO. Now, over at the ETC group, um, which is one of my favorite groups, I support these guys 110%. Um, but they say it like this, Trump administration inflates geoengineers balloon. Harvard scientists in Washington talk up str stratospheric geoengineering experiments that would violate UN decision. Now, that UN decision was called the Convention for Biological Diversity of 2012, where <laughs> many of the world's um, <clears throat> NGOs agreed that geoengineering should not happen and should not happen anytime soon because A, it's dangerous, B, it's unproven technology, and C, clearly it will change rainfall patterns worldwide. That will kill billions. 
So that's why we should not be geoengineering. That's why it's a bad idea. Um, and they have another, and this is dated uh, 24 March 2017. Right after that, on uh, 28 March 2017, Trump administration, a geoengineering administration. Read this stuff. You know, I'm, this is not a partisan issue. Spraying chemicals in the sky, not a partisan issue. Trump presidency opens door for planet hacking geoengineering experiments. As geoengineering advocates enter Trump administration, plans advance to spray sun reflecting chemicals into the atmosphere. So it sounds like the technocrats are still at it. They're still trying to push their agenda on the Trump administration. Despite him pulling out of COP21, they're now saying, well, Instead of, you know, being so concerned about CO2, you're a businessman. Why don't we just spray the sky with aluminum and sulfur and, you know, all kinds of metals and block some sunlight, and then you won't have to worry about that CO2 so much. That'd be a great thing, right? I don't think so. Donald Trump may back dangerous wall in the sky. <laughs> That's about the most witty of the titles I've seen. Plan to fly cl fight climate change warns watchdog. Experts at Harvard University, David Keith, say it might take too long for the world to switch to renewable energy, so solar geoengineering should be investigated. So which is it? Is Donald Trump in the club? No. Bohemian Grove, don't like him. Pulled out a COP21. Killed the TPP, which was definitely a technocrat's wet dream. The Trans-Pacific Partnership would basically cement the most of what these technocrats would have you know, dreamed about since the 20s. Hillary Clinton would have surely signed the TPP. Obama was certainly for the TPP. And these technocrats were drooling at that, chomping at the bit. What did uh, Henry Kissinger say? Well, you know, Americans would willingly give up their rights if they were, a, was a real threat to them from the outside. Well, here's your threat, everybody. Climate change. They call it global warming. They would rather call it climate change now. And they use a lot of fear to, con to convince you to give up your rights. That is the New World Order technocrats at work trying to achieve their balanced load through the scientific method and enforce a global governance. So that's a big concern for me. And that's why I talk about that. Last one here, Trump is giving geoengineering another moment. New concerns over whether Trump will use geoengineering for evil are almost entirely unfounded. So... I would like everybody in my audience to please harass the hell out of Donald Trump and get him to say something about this. I personally support Trump. I voted for Trump. What I want to see is him come out and say, no, I do not support geoengineering. I don't think this is safe. I don't want to give the technocrats and the New World Order what they want. And I want to hear it say. I want to hear him say it out of his mouth. And until he does, I'm gonna be on his ass just like the next guy because this is not a partisan issue. This is a. This is a. Uh, how, how did my friend Max Mogram from Wake Up News said it best? This is a. What was the p word he used? Profits over planet and people. Now I have three p's myself at ClimateViewer.com. I talk about pollution privacy and propaganda so that's what this is about profit over planet and people pollution privacy and propaganda this is the 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 technocrats the new world order the spying the lying and the control of nature and us through their scientific method this this technocrat balanced load bullshit um, for carbon credit, carbon tax schemes. It's all related and its relation is that. Technocracy and the abuse of this NSA Stone Ghost Network. So I want you to know that for a fact that when you're hearing them talk about FISA abuses, 
Monsanto has access to this network. Raytheon has access to this network. McDonnell Douglas benefited from this network. The Hillary Clinton Foundation, Obama administration, and the DNC all benefited from stealing information from this NSA network. And all they want to talk about on the internet or on uh, Fox News or CNN, take your pick, is FISA abuses. Like the FISA freaking court is the reason that all this is going on. The reason this is all going on is because they're freaking technocrats and Henry Kissinger's at the top of the pile pushing this New World Order narrative. So if you don't know about the five eyes and the 14 eyes, if you don't know that they're basically spying on everything by now, if you haven't heard of Edward Snowden, if you haven't heeded the warnings, it's time that people see the big picture. The big picture is there are technocrats out there who their wet dream is to get access to these spy intel so that they can go, I want to know everything about this Jim Lee that made this video today. I want to know his health records. I want to know where he was born. I want to know where he lives. I want to know his bank account. I want to know everything he ever wrote online. Give it to me in a file. We'll make a dossier, and if we have to, we'll call him an enemy of the state and lock him up. And you may be next. Now, I'm censored left and right. I put videos out on YouTube, 10,000 subscribers, and the videos get 500 views. That Those numbers are not real. We all know those numbers aren't real. Um, and breaking through censorship is getting harder and harder because the Five Eyes don't miss a thing. And we all know that. So leverage and spying, that's what FISA abuse is about. That's what Obama did. Watergate doesn't have uh, doesn't hold a candle to what's going on today with the deep state. And we need to understand that this deep state is the new world order and they use these spy facilities to harm people and this is no longer a laughing matter so please look into the links and the details um please spread this message around and 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 talk about the stone ghost network most of this is available right here at the top of the page on climateviewer.com just click on privacy and remember that this is about control through fear Propaganda, fake news, and activism. That's why I say the three are related. If you think you're going to talk about pollution, they're going to violate your privacy, and they're going to make a lot of propaganda about you. That's what I do at climateviewer.com. I hope you will continue to support my work. I hope that you can see the big picture now, that, this, that what's going on today is as serious as it gets, and that we should not allow fear, uncertainty, and doubt and, and the control of language like FISA abuse and nobody having the guts or the gall to say that it's really NSA abuse. This is abuse of a signals intelligence agency that has all of the secrets of the world, including those deleted emails. All of it stored and they use it as leverage at their will. And that the Russians bought access for four years to that network for only $3,000 a month. The Russians helped make that dossier that they're using to create fear, uncertainty, and doubt to shove Trump around right now. That they used it to spy on him. That they will spy on you in a second. If they will spy on... You know, they'll throw uh, General Petraeus in jail for an email. <laughs> they'll, 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 you know, just they, they pick their targets and they just destroy them with the information that they gather. Enough's enough. So I hope that this video has been informative. I hope it resonates with you. I hope that you'll talk about the Five Eyes and these technocrats and their communitarian law and their agenda to take your guns, destroy the Constitution, destroy your borders, make one world government, screw us all over, and spy on everything you've ever done and use it to leverage you, to hurt you, to force products that people don't want onto them. 
I mean, God forbid some guy in Paris doesn't want Monsanto freaking corn. Why is the State Department working for Monsanto? Why is the State Department, why is the NSA network being used to target the Trump administration? Why are these deep state New World Order technocrats allowed to continue to do this year after year? Because nobody knows the truth. Most of the truth is in this video, and it's your job to share it. So I hope you guys will continue to support me, patreon.com slash climateviewer. All of my information is available at climateviewer.com. Climateviewer.org is the map, and I would be remiss if I did not mention the jewel of them all when you're talking about geoengineering, weathermodificationhistory.com. Because those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. And I certainly don't want to grow up, you know, my two daughters to grow up in a world where there is no privacy anymore. I mean, there is none today, but we can fix it if we can change this today and say that enough's enough that abusing these networks, that spying on everything, that collecting this data and allowing companies like Monsanto, allowing assholes like the Clinton Foundation to buy access to these secrets, to hurt activists like you, to hurt even the President of the United States, to destroy this country from within. That is the goal. And once they do, that new world order will be cemented. You're the resistance. You're the, you're the person who's going to stop that from happening, and I hope that you will. So with that, guys, please get educated on these technocrats. Don't allow this to happen. Know that they're coming for your guns to destroy your borders, to spy on you. And that is the new world order. And it is not a freaking conspiracy. So with that being said, attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to ClimateViewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.